In this list, we're going to talk about some of the crazy intersections between psychedelics and science. You're also going to find out some insane facts, like how Life magazine actually introduced a major psychedelic to American consumers. The FDA just approved clinical trials for magic mushrooms for the treatment of depression. Are we on the cusp of a new frontier in personal health? Hey guys, please subscribe. It could be your good deed for the day. Let's jump right in with number three, the origins of LSD. Albert Hoffman was a Swiss chemist working at a pharmaceutical company. He was given the task of synthesizing one by one the alkaloids from a fungus called ergot. Ergot often infects grains, especially rye bread, and some say it was ergot poisoning that led to the erratic behavior of the Salem witches. In the fall of 1938, Hoffman made the 25th molecule in the series, LSD-25. It didn't seem to have any value, so the samples were discarded, but there was something beautiful about the structure of the molecule, so Hoffman kept it around. The second batch he made accidentally absorbed into his skin, and he began experiencing some unusual sensations. This was Hoffman's first taste of LSD, and he began experimenting on himself shortly thereafter. LSD aficionados celebrate April 19th because that's the day when Hoffman ingested 25 milligrams of acid in insane amounts and had to ride his bicycle home. He made it home barely. Number two, mushrooms and life. Psilocybin, or magic mushrooms, were introduced to the American public by Life magazine. Time Life founder Henry Luce and his wife would trip on acid under a doctor's supervision. So when a young writer came in and said, I've got a story, it's called Seeking the Magic Mushroom, and he described going to Mexico's mountains to participate in an age-old secret Indian ritual that produced visions. Needless to say, Life magazine was in. They gave him $8,500, which was a lot back in 1957, and he traveled to a remote part of Oaxaca. After a few tries, he convinced a local Maria Sabina to share the mushrooms with him and a photographer. But once the story was published, the secret was out, and the town was overrun with celebrities and even CIA agents looking for magic mushrooms for mind control experiments. Maria's life was ruined. Her house was burned down, and they even threw her in jail. Number 1. CIA Mind Control Ken Kesey was the author of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and also one of the most vocal advocates of LSD in the 60s. Kesey created the Merry Pranksters, which was a group that conducted a series of acid tests by giving thousands of young people acid in order to change the mind of a generation. He even mentored the Grateful Dead. The funny part is, it's all due to the CIA. In his 20s, Kesey was working as a night aide at the Menlo Park Veterans Hospital. Kesey volunteered to take part in what turned out to be a CIA finance secret program to determine whether LSD could somehow be weaponized. Kesey's role as an unwitting guinea pig at the VA hospital was actually the spark that lit the fuse of an entire countercultural revolution. How's that for unintended consequences? E.O. Wilson once said, all of us must choose between the path of science or spirituality. Where do you fall on the spectrum? Is the fact that magic mushrooms could be used to treat depression possibly the indication of a new era of science? Can science inform spirituality? Can spirituality inform science? Whoa, man, you think about that. You let us know our <laughs> your comments below. And thanks again for watching.